and a warm welcome to all our partners, our media colleagues, and of course, all our fans. Welcome to the launch of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, it's a great privilege for me to be here to introduce to you something which I think fundamentally will change the industry forever. It's a landmark product. And not just that, with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in a massive 48 megapixel camera beast. It's not just that, the Redmi Note 7 Pro redefines design, takes performance to the very next level, and of course, you've got an amazing flagship camera. Frankly, it's amazing what a phone at a truly honest price can do. Let's get into the first part straight away, design. And with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we have gone grounds up and completely changed our design philosophy. So with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in an all-new Aura design. As you saw, the Aura design philosophy is a factor of three things. We are giving an incredibly immersive experience. There's a lot of attention to detail. And we are doing all of this, making a beautiful device without compromising on the functionality. Something that our Mi fans have always loved. Moving into the immersive experience. For the first time ever on a Redmi Note, we are using a 19.5 is to 9 dot notch display. Now, this is a full HD display that takes brightness and contrast levels to a whole new level. But what I want you to look at is that we also have used the most expensive LCD technology available today, the LTPS in-cell screen. Now, this is incredibly important because the LTPS in-cell screen uses less power and also generates less heat. And with that, we are able to push this all the way to the edges to give you a bezel that's narrower than ever before. At just 1.95 mm, it's a true engineering marvel. And with this new aspect ratio and smaller bezels, what we've been able to do is with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, in almost the same footprint as the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and the Note 6 Pro, we're giving a larger display. Now it's a 6.3 inch display. Not just that, with the Note 7 Pro, we have retained and in some cases reintroduced some of our fan favorites. We have the sunlight display. When you go out, the Redmi Note 7 Pro screen enhances brightness, improves the overall contrast, and even to give you a more natural image, adjust the color saturation. So when you are outside in bright sunlight, it's still a comfortable viewing experience. And talking about a comfortable viewing experience, if it's low light, we also have a reading mode. And this has been certified by TUV, where it cuts off the blue light, improves the overall readability, reduces eye strain, so that when you get that last game or the last kill before that night, you still aren't really uh, stressing your eyes. And along with the display, along with the entire immersive nature, is the craftsmanship. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, for the first time, we have a 2.5D curved glass. And not just in the front, but the back as well. And this is incredibly important, because this curvature that you get, both in the front and the back, seamlessly blends in with the frame, giving you this perfect unibody experience. The hand feel on the Note 7 Pro is absolutely amazing. It's something that you do not expect from a device like this. Uh, what's also interesting is, and some of the Mi fans, I'm sure, will notice this later, is the flash actually is underneath the glass. It's that seamless overall design. Amazing attention to detail. And talking about more attention to detail, we also are introducing, for the first time, a gradient finish. Now, this is six layers coming together to give you this incredible finish. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it comes in multiple colors. And here are all three colors in the same frame. Absolutely stunning, and I must commend our engineering team for doing an excellent job. Now, these are renders, 
But what happens is, if when you see this device in person, when you hold it, how does that look? So we've taken a couple of shots of the phone. Now, the next few images are not renders. These are actually photographs of the real device, just to show you how good this actually looks. The Neptune Blue, by the way, the color name is also really awesome, as good as the Note 7 Pro. The Nebula Red, now these devices look absolutely stunning in real life. And of course, after this, we should get an idea and we should get a chance to feel these. And of course, the classic black. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. Both at the front and the back, we are introducing Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. And talking about being a very practical device, we are also introducing a Type-C port for the first time on the Note series. And of course, Jack is back. We never get, got rid of it. Talking about that, let's get into the performance part. And this, of course, is, we know, incredibly important to all our Mi fans. Right? No? OK, so before I get into uh, the performance part of it, I'll recap. So we talked about this last time as well. When we are selecting a processor, we look at three key things. Can it run all the apps and games smoothly? Does it have great thermals? And of course, it's a note, it has to give great battery life. So for kind of ticking all these boxes, I would like to introduce to you, on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are going to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, a couple of weeks back, we had a little incident. In Andhra Pradesh, one truck, which was surprisingly carrying all our 625 chips, got stolen. <laughs> so because we lost all our 625s, with the Redmi Note 7, we are bringing in an all-new processor. <laughs> this processor is absolutely amazing. On Antutu, this clocks in at a whopping 1.8 max. <laughs> Trust me, nobody has seen a performance like this in this segment before. In fact, when we compared the Redmi Note 7 Pro with the previous generation Redmi Note 6 Pro, we have 155% the performance of the predecessor. It's a massive jump. Not just from a, a benchmark score perspective. We tested it time and again internally. Almost everything that you run, runs a lot faster. You see faster web browsing, game launches, <clears throat> social media launches. Almost everything is much, much faster on the Note 7 Pro. So, so these were benchmarks and these were comparisons. So we decided to go a step further. And we said, let's compare it with some really powerful devices out there. And where does it stand? So we decided to compare it with the Qualcomm 710. And versus the 710, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is almost 17% faster. There's another 710, which is not actually the real one. Uh, that obviously is, is much slower, but we'll get to that a little later. So, what we did was, this was Antutu. How about some other tests, like single core tests and you know, multi-core tests? So we also went to Geekbench and looked at that. So both single core, multi-core, of course you've seen Antutu. It turned out to be the fastest device that was there. And of course we've seen the, the Oppo R17 Pro that does run seven, Snapdragon 710 retails for about 46,000 rupees. And the Note 7 Pro beats it by a healthy margin. Why is that? Because the Redmi Note 7 Pro's processor 
uses the latest Trio 460 architecture. Now this uses the same ARM A76 cores as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is a truly powerful chip. And this chip that we're using <coughs> on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is none other than an absolute phenomenal chip running on the Cryo 460 architecture. It's an 11 nanometer FinFET process. So it's not just more powerful, but it's also a lot more efficient. And yes, it is an octa-core chip. In fact, we are running MIUI 10 based on Android Pie. And from a performance point alone, there are more than 20 different optimizations that have been done. But just to highlight a few, uh, from a lock-free critical path and code-dependent prioritization, uh, it's able to run everything a lot more smoothly and push this entire system to a whole new level. Now, it is a note, and you've got so much power, so it has to have a noteworthy battery. And the Note 7 Pro comes with a 4,000 mAh battery that easily lasts you two days on a single charge. Uh, and when you deep dive, it's almost 45 hours of 4G calling time, if you were to call someone that long. Or what's really important, and what I really care about as well, about eight and a half hours of gaming. Now this is absolutely incredible. Now this is a big battery and it's a powerful phone and we are saying that it's great for gaming. What you do need is when the battery goes down, you need to charge it up quickly, right? For that, again, a first for the Redmi Note series, you got Quick Charge 4. The camera. Now, the camera on the Note 7 Pro is a combination of a 48 megapixel camera, and that's the primary camera, and along with that 48, you have a 5 megapixel depth sensor for those amazing portrait shots. Now, this 48 MP camera has probably generated a lot more buzz than any of our features ever before. Okay. So we've decided to use the highest resolution sensor available on any smartphone, period. It is an absolutely amazing sensor. It changes mobile photography forever. And of course, it is there on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. So. We did talk about the fact that it's a 48 megapixel primary sensor clubbed with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Diving a little deeper and looking at just the, the IMX586, now this is the highest resolution sensor ever put in a smartphone. It is a half inch stacked CMOS sensor. It is massive. Not just that, it also provides four times the dynamic range. So your photographs actually come out a lot better, even if it was, say, in a similar situation. And all of this is happening because this all-new sensor uses improved photoelectric conversion efficiency. What it means is it's able to handle that light better. So to sum it up, you get a 48 megapixel unbeatable detailing with the all-new Sony IMX586 sensor you've got a large half-inch sensor that takes in so much more information. You've got a wider than ever before f1.79 aperture, a six-piece lens, and of course, when it's low light conditions, a 1.6 micron super pixel. And you've seen those results. They're absolutely stunning, even when the lighting conditions aren't great. But being a Redmi Note, we've decided to push it to the next level. For the first time on the Redmi Note series, we are also introducing a steady handheld night photography mode. Now, this is based on Xiaomi's powerful AI algorithm, and it does a remarkable job. On the camera, you also have AI scene detection, as well as AI Portrait 2.0. With the Note 7 Pro, you get 
4K recording at 30 frames per second. It's a powerful device with an incredible camera. You can push it to the limits. And like the, note, <clears throat> the previous notes, we still have EIS when, for when you're taking those videos and you want to avoid that handshake that comes in. So that's the rear camera. Uh, on the front, we have a 13 megapixel camera. So a 48 megapixel camera beast in all this glory. Again, to recap, 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor. Absolutely incredible. You saw the results. It is a flagship sensor that we are putting in the Note 7 Pro. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675, giving you flagship level gaming experience. It's got dual Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and an all new gradient design, which looks absolutely stunning. It's got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, an all new immersive dot notch display, which is 6.3 inch full HD plus, and a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery with Quick Charge 4 supported. So let's take an overall look at the product. So the price for Redmi Note 7 Pro The price for Redmi Note 7 Pro 4GB, 64GB variant is going to be thirteen triple nine. And the price for 6GB, 128GB is going to be sixteen triple nine.